the focus today will be, um, as I say, on estates, and these are the particular uh, sections of this talk. We will look initially at how to locate beneficiaries, particularly in more complex estates. We will then go on to the duties that are owed by administrators to estate beneficiaries. We will look at how and why beneficiaries may make requests for information or documents and how best to respond to those requests. We will look also at the types of challenges that can be brought against administrators by beneficiaries. We will then look at when it is appropriate to involve the court and why uh, under the guise of Part 64 applications. We will then briefly touch on how executors should conduct themselves and deal with disputes that arise between beneficiaries. And then finally, we will look at methods of resolving those disputes um, independently of the courts, that is, and the issue of costs. Now, this is just the worst case scenario, but if an administrator is on the wrong end of some sort of claim by beneficiaries, there's a variety of orders that the court can potentially make against that administrator. The most serious of all, perhaps, is removal from the role, which is a Section 50 application. Now, it's very difficult to remove um, an executor from their role. You can't just do it because you don't like them or because you've disagreed with them on a certain issue. But if an executor is becoming a barrier to administering an estate fairly or if they've committed a particularly, um, um, particularly bad breach of their duties, then a removal application could succeed. And as I say, there could be consequential uh, cost orders to go with it. But short of that, the court can make other orders against an administrator. And obviously, if litigation goes south, um, even if it's only a fairly um, pragmatic order that's been made, if the administrator is on the losing side, they can still be personally liable for costs. But for example, if they fail to produce estate accounts, uh, and that order is made by the court, um, that obviously is to a degree a successful outcome for a beneficiary. If the accounts that have been produced are not particularly compelling, or if there are things that might be missing or unexplained expenses, uh, the executor could be ordered to produce an inventory and account and maybe get that verified by an actual accountant. Uh, or if the circumstances warrant it under the CPR, they could actually be called to court to give evidence sometimes known as an accountant inquiry order. 